Authors in April, in our 39th year of this one-of-a-kind program, is thrilled to bring you the fabulously talented fourth and fifth grade author, Jennifer Chaldenko. Jennifer Chaldenko was born in Santa Monica, California, and currently lives in the San Francisco Bay Area of California. She was the youngest in a family of four kids, so that earned her the affectionate nickname Snot Nose. As a kid, she always wore mismatched socks, and she couldn't tell her right from her left. It's still a challenge for her, so no pop quizzes, okay? When Jennifer was 10, her favorite book was The Little Princess. Though she said she was nothing like the main character, Sarah Crewe, she liked to pretend she was her. She has always hoped that a kid would believe they were one of her characters from her books. Some of her other favorite books from childhood are Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Island of the Blue Dolphins, Harriet the Spy, and so many others. Jennifer has been visiting schools for years. She even wears the same boots to every school visit. In fact, here she is when she visited us for Authors in April 2011. Do you notice her same boots? Get ready to be wowed. Jennifer has sold over two and a half million books. Wow! She is best known for her Tales from Alcatraz series. The first book in the series, Al Capone Does My Shirts, won the Newbery Honor and 20 other awards. All four books in the series have earned starred reviews. Al Capone Does My Shirts is historical fiction with a hint of mystery about living at Alcatraz, not as a prisoner, but as a kid, meeting some of the most famous criminals in history. A 12-year-old boy named Moose moves to Alcatraz Island in 1935, when prison guards' families were housed there. Moose has to contend with his extraordinary new environment, in addition to life with his sister, who has autism. Alcatraz is no longer a prison, it's actually a national park and popular tourist destination. When researching Alcatraz for her book, Jennifer volunteered to work on Alcatraz one day a week for a year. While at Alcatraz, she really started thinking about her sister Gina, who had autism. One of the characters in the book was influenced by her sister. Chaldenko's middle grade novels will appeal to all readers because they span many different genres. Her newest book, Orphan 11, tells the story of four orphans who find work and new friends with the traveling circus in the 1930s. Visiting an elephant sanctuary in Thailand was part of Jennifer's research process for Orphan 11. Chasing Secrets is a historical fiction novel set in the 1900s during a plague outbreak. Lizzie, the persistent protagonist, uncovers secrets and must put together the pieces to save the people she loves. This story of friendship and perseverance may remind you of the pandemic we face. No Passengers Beyond This Point is filled with fantasy and adventure. After three siblings lose their house, they board a plane to a new home, but land in a world they've never seen before. Now time is running out to find the way back. Dog lovers are sure to enjoy Notes from a Liar and Her Dog and One Third Nerd. Speaking of dogs, check out this hilarious video of Jennifer's dog, Shay. He wears lab coats to school. And, oops, the dog just stole the diaper. Oh my gosh. Here are a few other cute photos of Shay. It looks like she likes to read and relax. Jennifer Chaldenko has also written picture books. Her most recent picture book, Dad and the Dinosaur, was inspired by the wonderful dads in her life. What did you do to keep busy during the pandemic? Jennifer got tired of being home all the time, so she would make a thermos of coffee, drive to some scenic spot, and write. One day she looked up from her work and this is what she saw, a coyote walking down the street. How do words and tennis relate? Well, Jennifer is a master of words and she loves the sound of a well-hit tennis ball. She says there's something so satisfying when the ball hits the sweet spot on the racket. When she finds the exact right word she's looking for, that's the sound she hears in her head. Be sure to check out Jennifer Chaldenko's fantastic website. Follow her on Twitter, too. We can't wait for Jennifer Chaldenko to visit us in April. It's time to start reading.